And today I'm just going to talk about how you can manage your risk if you're trading in the end of this stock market. So stay tuned. Ball it up, I'm with the game. We're taking shots off the rebound. In my post, it's ain't now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah. Tell them all to move on. Yeah. In my post, it's ain't now. Welcome back to the NZ Day Trading 101 channel and if you're new then just click on the subscribe button below and you'll get notified whenever I do a video. So in today's video I'm just going to talk about how we can manage our risk and the way we want to manage our risk is by using a stop loss. I'm going to show you today how you can manually put in a stop loss into direct broking or ASV securities if you have that broker. So a stop loss is important because if you're trading without a stop loss then you're opening yourself up to a lot of risk and what's going to happen is that you're going to be holding your losers for a long period of time. What happens is when you hold these losers, which I call a losing position, it means that you're going to tie up your capital in these positions and you won't be able to have enough capital to trade in other positions. So this is important because we always need capital to be able to trade. So if you have capital tied up in a losing position, then this is going to be a huge opportunity cost because you're not going to have enough money to place into other trades. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how you can place a stop loss in direct broking. So let's get to it. So on my screen you can see that we have direct broking open. So if you're unsure how to get to the direct broking website, then I have a link in the description below. You can click on that and you can sign up to direct broking. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we are going to implement a stop loss. So first, what you want to do is you want to log into your account. And then you just want to log into your account. So put your details in and your password. I have mine preset in here, so I can just click log in. Now, what you want to do is first off, you want to make sure that you do buy a position before placing a stop loss. So what happens is when you have a position, then you are able to place a stop loss attached to that position. And what will happen is when the stop loss reaches a certain price, your order will be triggered. So I'm not going to buy a position in this scenario here, but we are going to pretend that we had 1000 shares of HLG. So first of all, what we want to do is let's just say that we had HLG in our portfolio. Now, in order to attach a stop loss, what we want to do is you want to go to the sell button on the left here. Then we are looking to sell HLG for this indicative example. Now, when we get to this, let's say we had 1000 shares of HLG. Now, what we want to do is we want to do a limit order so a price limit will be the limit that we want to sell if the price drops to that level so first off let's say that we look on our chart and we want to sell our position at seven dollars sixty so what we are going to do is we are going to put seven dollars sixty in this trigger win option so this trigger win option means that when the price does fall to $7.60, this order will be triggered and sent into the market. And the other thing you want to fill out is a price limit. So when the order is triggered, what limit do you want to, what is the lowest price you want to sell the shares at? So 10 cents under the price is probably a good, so 10 cents under the price is probably a good limit to do. Uh, it means that we're not selling it for too low so which is great so let's just go 750 so what will happen here is now we have our stop loss set up so we said that before that we have an indicative position of a thousand shares of Allen Science Group and let's say we bought it at $7.81 now we are going into our sell order and we are attaching our stop loss to that so here we done trigger when it's 760. So when the market price hits 760, it will be triggered and it will sell down to $7.50. If you guys want to be a bit more safe, you can do $7.40 and or any lower than that. So you, so you can make sure that you're definitely able to get out of your position. What would happen after that is you'll simply go continue and here you can see what your order would look like. So here we have the security code, which is HLG, and the quantity of shares, and 
also the action. So the action is an important thing. So this is the code that gets sent into the system for direct broking. So here we can see the action saying sell at trigger less or equals to $7.60. That means that when the price falls to $7.60 or less, then it will sell to a limit of $7.40. And here what you do, you would hit confirm. And this guys is how you would place a stop loss into direct broking. Now, let's say that you have an ASB securities account. So there are three New Zealand brokers in New Zealand. So one is Sharesies, one is ASB Securities, and one is Direct Broking. So this one here is ASB Securities. So this is similar to Direct Broking as well. So it's a do-it-yourself online broker. So a DIY online broker. So here I'm just going to show you a similar sort of way on how to set up a stop loss in ASB Securities. So here what you want to do is first you go to place an order, and then you'll come to the screen here and you just want to do a stop loss sell and if it's a New Zealand stock then you would simply go to the NZX now let's say you want to sell HLG in this one so we'll click HLG, we'll click next and then we want to sell 1000 shares and similar to our trigger price, so our trigger price would be um, like in an example $7.60 I'm pretty sure it was and then our limit price. So the limit price is what we want to sell down in case the price goes to $7.60 or it'll be triggered. What is the lowest price we are willing to sell at? So we will do $7.40 in this example. So we are willing to sell 20 cents below our trigger price. Alright guys, if you like my video today, then just hit the like button below and also subscribe to this channel if you want to keep seeing content like this. So stay tuned for more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys real soon. Happy trading.